Hi there, so uh, we are going to continue our tutorial questions for chapter 4 bond. Okay, so question number 3 is to calculate the YTC or you can name it as uh, yield to call. Okay, YTC, the yield to call, right? The calculation is quite the same with YTM, how you uh, calculate the YTM. Uh, it's just that. Okay, the difference is that, okay, uh, we cannot use the same uh, N equal to 13 years for this one, okay, because uh, this is the maturity period for, uh, of course, to calculate the YTM. So, despite of that, okay, it uh, already stated that the uh, bond will be called back after 8 years. So, instead of using N equal to 13 earlier, in YTC calculation, you have to use this one, 8, 8 years. I'm changing this to another color, maybe blue, right? So, we are going to use uh, 8 years as the N into the formula. And furthermore, we are not going to use the RM1000 uh, as the par value in the formula. We will use the CCP, which is the callable price. I'm labeling this one as CP. Okay, callable. This is the callable price. Okay, so we are going to use these two uh, key informations to calculate the YTC. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the formula. YTC sama. Okay, agak sama. Maaf, yang ni adalah market price. Sama. It just as dekat sini, you have to change. Uh, instead of par value, kita kena tukar pada CP. Okay, dekat sini pun sama. Uh, which is the CP. Okay, yang ni maaf, tukar eh. Alright, uh, still the same lah. Okay, market. Market price. Okay, and this is the same formula. Uh, apa yang berlaku, kita kena tukar a few information untuk mendapatkan YTC. Okay, so the same thing, coupon in RM, 10% coupon rate uh, times by 1000. Okay, of course, this one you have to change. This is not, uh, this is the... Uh, Prior, uh, we used uh, par value 1,000, right? So, right now, we have to change to 1,000 uh, and 100. Why? Because this is the callable, callable price. Refer to this one. This is the callable price. So, we are not going to use the par value anymore. Okay, to calculate the YTC. Faham eh? Tak perlu lagi guna par value. Untuk YTC, kita akan guna callable price. Minus uh, 920, which is the market price. Ah, uh, This one you have to change. 8. Okay, so kita tengok kat sini. 8 years. So, the date of the uh, bond will be called back. Okay. This one also the same thing. You have to change to 1,100. Plus 920 divided by 2, the same one. Okay. So, dekat sini akan berubah. Okay, on this one as well. So, calculate this uh, this part first. Okay, 1000. Sorry, 10% uh, times by 1000. So, you will get RM. 100 plus, okay, this uh, 1000 uh, and 100, you have to minus, okay, 920 and then divide by 8. So, you will get around the uh, RM22.5. Okay, and of course, divide by 1100, this one, okay, divide by 1000. 100 plus 920, okay, divide by 2. So, you will get over here, right, as 
one zero and one zero, right? So I'm underline it to show that uh, this one you have to divide by one zero and one zero. Okay, so calculate the uh, this uh, figure and divide by one zero one zero. Okay. So you will get a uh, zero point one two one three. Okay, I'm rounding this one. Okay, you will get zero point one two one two eight seven, right? But I'm rounding this one to four decimal places. So this figure you have to change to percentage, which is time one hundred, and you will get actually twelve point one three. Okay, so this is the answer for YTC. Okay, this is the answer for the yield to yield to call. Okay, next question is about bond valuation. Okay, number four, it asks you, would you pay RM920 for the bond if the required rate of return for securities in the same risk class was 12%. This is the ROR or required rate of return, 12%. Which the interest paid annually. So the interest being paid annually. Same as the coupon bond annually. So the question asks you, would you pay this one? Uh, would you pay uh, 920? Adakah kita akan membayar sebanyak 920 untuk membeli bond tersebut? Okay, kenapa? Kalau kita tengok market price dia sekarang adalah RM920 market price. So, macam mana? How are you going to know? How uh, would you pay for this one or not? So, kita akan calculate dia punya VB ataupun bond valuation. This one. So, kita akan calculate uh, uh, this bond valuation. So, let's say... I'm changing to over here, right? Let's see. Okay. So, this is the formula to calculate the bond valuation. Okay. So, how are we going to do this, right? Uh, the VB equal to I times PVIFA I M. Okay. So, I is the uh, same thing. 10% you have to let convert pada RM ya iaitu dengan 10% coupon rate you times the par value 1000 so PVIFA how much is the required rate of return given in the questions 12% okay so you use the PVIFA 12% maturity M equal to maturity. Maturity is 13 years. Okay. Alright. So, this is this one. Ah, ini adalah yang ini. Eh. Okay, ingat eh. Kenapa kita darab dengan uh, NWT? PVIFA NWT disebabkan kupon uh, 10% ini adalah dibayar sepanjang uh, setiap tahun, sepanjang 13 tahun maturity. So, sama. Setiap tahun, dia akan pay the same 10% coupon. So, ini adalah NU, NUT. Right? Okay. Plus, sorry, plus PV, par value RM1000 times PVIF 12% 13. Okay. So, you ha already have this one. Okay. This two. Okay. Par value, kita kena darab dengan PVIF. Okay, the common common sense, par value di, adalah nilai uh, bond tersebut at par sekali sahaja. Right, so uh, PVIF 12% 13, right. And uh, you kena cari jumlah PVIF A uh, 12% 13 dan PVIF 12% 13 in the uh, PVIF and PVIF A table. Cari dalam jadual. 
We normally in final exam the uh, table will be given to you. Sorry. So this one you are, will get our M100, right? Times if you take a look on PVIFA 12% 13, uh, you akan jumpa this one 6. Point, uh, 4235. Okay. If we take a look this in the shadow of the uh, PVIFA. So, you akan dapat uh, this figure. 6.4235. Okay. Okay. Uh, times RM 1000. Okay. This one. 1000. Uh, find PVIF 12% 13 in the shadow. So, you akan jumpa dengan 0.2292 Okay So, calculate this one first So, I'm changing uh, the color So, you could differentiate this one And then uh, Maybe to uh, Dark green Okay So, calculate this one first And then and then you plus this two Sorry Okay, so how much you will get? Uh, so, if you total up, you akan dapat okay, RM 871.55 okay, 871.55 So, this is the real uh, value of the bond The bond valuation So, this is the real value Is uh, only at RM 871.55 Sedangkan bond tersebut Current market price of the bond right now Adalah RM920 kan So uh, If we take a look on these two figure Kalau kita compare dengan uh, uh, Dia punya uh, bond valuation Okay Of course market price uh, Sorry lebih besar daripada Dia punya uh, bond, value of the bond iaitu RM871.55 So seolah-olah kita membeli sesuatu yang nilainya kurang daripada harga yang dijual uh, So agak merugikan lah uh, kan? Contoh you beli uh, let's say satu, katakanlah baju You beli baju tu dengan harga RM200 Sedangkan nilai baju tu hanyalah 150 sahaja kan. So agak merugikan lah. Alright. So the answer if the question ask you would you. Okay dia tanya would you pay this uh, RM920 for the bond. Okay sekiranya required rate of return yang investors nak adalah around 12%. Okay so kita akan jawab no. Okay. Uh, because the bond is overpriced, kan? Ah, uh, the bond is overpriced. Harga yang di uh, jual di pasaran adalah terlalu tinggi berbanding dengan nilai sebenar dia hanyalah eight seven one point five five five. So this is how you answer this. Uh, question, tutorial question This question is quite complete Agak lengkap Semua dia dah tanya Tanya uh, tentang how to calculate the YTM Calculate the current yield Calculate the yield to call And calculate the valuation of the bond So I hope you understand How to calculate uh, this uh, question uh, For these questions uh, if you come up this for uh, this kind of questions later on, right? So good luck.